Good morning guys. It is Wednesday, December 11th and it is a very good day. I am so excited. So we have a delayed opening. It did snow here last night but the roads seem pretty clear. We just got a little bit of snow so the kids have a two hour delay and they're starting school at 10.30 instead of 8.30. It's about 8 o'clock now but I was up before 6. I want to say it was about 5.50 ish. My husband and my son went hunting this morning and I just woke up because I heard them moving around and getting ready and I couldn't fall back to sleep and I got on the computer got some work done and then all of a sudden I received two notifications that I already have two patrons and I just can't even believe that because it was still so early in the morning and I had just posted my video where I mentioned to you guys that I was going to start doing some stuff over on Patreon instead of YouTube because of all of the stuff going on with um, the FTC and COPA, COPA, whatever, however you say it, they might bring me down. They might delete my videos and possibly even my channel. So I feel like Patreon is a safe haven to share and I'm really excited to start sharing some content over there. Of course, I'll still be here on YouTube as long as I possibly can, but I'm kind of right now just preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. And in any event, I have some really, really great ideas for my patrons for upcoming videos. And of course, we'll vote on it to see what video you most um, want to see, what type of content you want me to show over there because it's going to be a much smaller group and we're going to work together as a community and talk about topics and things that you might want me to research and make videos about. So I'm so, so excited about that. And it's just... Um, it just made me feel so good that I have some really great friends out there and really great supporters. So thank you. Thanks to the two of you <laughs> so far this morning. It meant the world to me. So today I am subbing at the preschool and they're also working on a delayed opening. So I don't have to be there until 1045. So I'll drop Madison off for school at 1030 and then head straight there. And then I'll be home later on this afternoon. And because of that, I really don't have too much time here at home to get things done. So I'm hoping with the limited amount of time that I do have, I'll be able to share my Marshalls haul with you guys because I kept pushing that off, but I want to get it up for you guys for the weekend. So hopefully I'll have enough time to do that. This way I can wrap it all as well because I need to, uh, once I show it to you guys, I have to wrap it and hide it and just like get it out of my office because you guys know it's just it's right there under the blanket the kids could honestly see it anytime they wanted to <laughs> so that is what i'm up to today and again thank you for those of you who are supporting me over on patreon i really really appreciate it and i'll see you guys later the dogs are cozy in their spots i really need to get the mats for these couches because the dog hair is ridiculous especially chester's hair like it really sticks to this let me know in the comments below if you guys could recommend like a good pad or blanket or something that goes over the couch that really works well because when i just lay these blankets down they just pull them right off it doesn't really help very much here's leo <laughs> leo is always like right on top of me he's such a snuggle i call him a snuggle bunny but he is <laughs> far from a bunny he's so big my fluffy face. Chester, what's the matter today? Hmm? Huh? I think Chester's feeling sleepy today. One of my favorite things about decorating the tree is seeing these old ornaments. <laughs> Look at this Santa ornament and it's hung like upside down. I think that Patrick made this one. It's just so cute looking at all of the old things that the kids made for me, old pictures. There's little Emily. Anyway, I just really, really love looking at all of the old ornaments and it takes me back. It really brings me back in time. This is from when we went to see the Nutcracker when Emily was little. Actually, we're going to see Beauty and the Beast on Thursday, so I'm hoping I could find a special ornament for that. The year that we moved into our house, my trip to London. Christmas trees are just full of memories, aren't they? 
So I watch Hillary from Old World Home and she always puts branches and things from her yard <laughs> around her house as decoration. So that's what I did over here. I took some of the branches from the tree <laughs> and I put them on the mantle. Anyway, so she inspired me to do that. But then my husband was like, might be a fire hazard. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I just found the elves. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're on Santa's head today. That's so funny. I wonder if Madison saw it yet. Madison, mm -hmm. did you find the elves yet today? <laughs> I just found them. Do you want to see? It's pretty funny. Come downstairs with me for a second. You see them? <laughs> They're like attacking Santa. Bring us back to the North Pole, Santa. Get us out of this crazy house. <laughs> Do you think that's what they were thinking? No. Like bring me back to the mothership of the North Pole. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good one. That's funny. I still have to get an extension cord so I can light these up currently only this village lights up even though it's not on right now but i like it when all of my village houses light up are you guys being good leo's got the bone today chester you have a bone somewhere too delayed openings really throw me off for the day because i feel like i have all the time in the world and then all of a sudden I am rushed to get out the door because I let so much time slip away. It's about 10 o'clock. Madison has to be at school at 1030 and I have to be at the preschool at 1045. So I need to get myself moving here. I uh, made French toast for everyone this morning for breakfast. That was really good. And I cleaned up the kitchen and I'm going to be headed out soon. But I cannot believe, I don't want to focus so much on Patreon because this is the YouTube world over here and a lot of you probably aren't going to head over there, but I have to say one life lesson that I learned today is that it's not about the numbers, it's about the quality of the people in those numbers because oftentimes I feel like I never met up to what I thought I would at the three year mark in regards to subscriber count and view count and all of those things. And I try not to think about it. And sometimes you just can't help it. You can't because it's in your face every day. But let me tell you the quality of the relationship that we have made together is just unreal. It really is. It is just so great that I think that because of that smaller number, we have a more intimate relationship and I really get to know you guys. And if I had thousands and thousands of subscribers and messages every day to keep up with, I wouldn't have the relationships that I have with you guys right now. And you really proved that to me with your support this morning. Like I said, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning and my really close YouTube friends are already over there on Patreon and I'm just, I'm amazed. I'm feeling very honored and humbled right now and I just, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's just, it's the best gift that I could have ever received for my three year YouTube anniversary. That's the only way I can explain it. It is a gift. And I thank you all truly from the bottom of my heart because I just, I just don't know. I, I just, there are, are no words to explain how amazing that makes me feel. And we're going to have some great fun over there and some really different and unique videos that only my patrons can watch. So it's going to be, it's going to be a new adventure. Definitely. Okay. So enough about that. I put on my Minnie Mouse necklace. Isn't that cute? I got this at Avon such a long time ago and it's one of my go-to necklaces. I just love it. So I always like to wear a little Disney when I go to the preschool. I'll see you guys a little bit later on. I am headed off to work. I just got back from the preschool. It's always a great experience going there. I know I say this every time. And today I noticed how genuinely kind the children are to each other at such a young age. Some of these, these kids are only about two and a half years old. 
and they're so courteous to each other and so loving and including each other in games and it's just so nice to see at such a young age some really decent values so I just wanted to share that with you your kids are never too young to start teaching them just how to be kind to others and how to be courteous and loving so I saw a lot of that today and it was really really nice I am really feeling the love today, especially from you guys. So now I am going to attempt to do my Marshalls haul. It's a little bit after lunch, it's about one o'clock and I'm hungry, but I have to get Madison around 2.30 I usually leave here. So I don't know if I wanna do the haul and then eat or eat and then do the haul. You know what, I'm not good at doing anything when I'm hungry. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go grab something to eat first. Here's a little Marshall's whole sneak peek behind the scenes. I have a big mess to clean up now, but I finally just finished filming that video. I just picked up Madison from school. Now I have some laundry to fold and within the next half an hour, 40 minutes, I have to go to CCD. Tonight I am joining Madison for her CCD because we are attending a mass and then they're doing a live nativity for the kids so it should be a lot of fun i'm kind of limited on time now i have to catch up on the laundry so that i can spend the next couple of hours with madison at religious education tonight and then we're probably going to have a late dinner because i'm not sure exactly how late this is going to go with the live nativity but it should be a nice thing to experience tonight go pat him you want to go pat him Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Nobody's paying attention to this little guy. <laughs> For dinner, we're having black bean burritos. Trying something new. Don't know how it's gonna be. I may have slightly overcooked some of the tortillas, <laughs> but overall, it was pretty good. So church tonight was very interesting. The kids did the play. If you guys watched last year, you probably saw Madison. She was Mary in the Christmas pageant nativity scene. It was so cute. And this year they did a really weird skit at the church that included Santa and the angels and a bunch of farm animals. It was just really odd. I don't know. I just, the whole Santa thing just threw me off. Santa in the church and doing, you know, being a part of the nativity. It was just it was kind of wrong in every way <laughs> it just felt awkward to me uh, we just finished dinner i'm cleaning up the kitchen and yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about that because i'm still thinking about it and it was just incredibly odd so how did you feel about the church play <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like but they brought animals, so they, it was cool. You liked the animals? Yeah. There, there was this one feisty llama, and it was really obsessed, so it jumped onto the altar. <laughs> it did. It jumped on the altar. And afterwards, the kids were able to go and pet the animals, but not the llama. Yeah. They took that crazy llama away. <laughs> <laughs> the llama was my favorite animal, though. Yeah. He, was, he looked really cool. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't videotape him because we were in the church, but... That was cool. And the donkey was pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. They yeah. had like a big donkey. Yeah, that was neat. Okay. <laughs> you brushing Leo? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's hiding under the table because he doesn't like any brushing or spraying. Oh, or... oh nice Leo. <laughs> He's like, all right, you can brush my paw. <laughs> Patrick just put a pumpkin pie in the oven that was left over from Thanksgiving and it smells so good right now. I'm excited for it. All right guys, so my battery is about to die actually. So I am going to say good night. I hope that you enjoyed coming along on another daily vlog. It was so much fun bringing you guys along with me today and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night.